Awkward lands, awkward hand, why did I then mulligan? Guys, blessing, turn to play, it's fine. How's it going, boys? Today we are fulfilling destiny. We have finally done it. The Liliana Tribal deck is here. And it is by far the most glorious thing you have ever seen. We are rolling with four different Lilianas. A Professor Onyx, Dreadhorde Generalis, Death's Majesty, and Waker of the Dead. Oh yes! For every type of man, there's a different Liliana to choose. Hashtag simping for Liliana should be okay, and it is okay. Fight me if you think I'm wrong. Oh, but enough about me simping. I can already hear you, you, you saying, Hey, wait, you promised a Nullamog deck today. Yes, that is true. Oh, but this time, I didn't flat out lie to you, which, let's be honest here, is... A lot more high level than usually. And I did try, but I didn't like it, so, you know, I, I went for what my smaller brain decided that's gonna be the better idea. And that's how we ended with Mommy Lily deck. So, this is a Golgari deck. It has a lot of things. It has Ramp, it has Explore, and Binding of the Old Gods. Obviously, there's a bunch of control. Heartless Act and Assassin's Trophy. Heartless Act could be potentially removed with something. Uh, Heartless Act can potentially be removed with a two-cost instant that discards if you have a Liliana's Planeswalker on the board. And this deck is relatively really good against aggro decks for the most part because we have three Rittles of Sut and two Spheres of Annihilation. AK, every one and two drop deck kind of gets a little bit shafted here, which is obviously great. Support for Liliana in the form of the Eldest Reborn. No one uses the Eldest Reborn anymore, so I decided that, hey, it's about time we change it. Two Guys Blessings, because Guys Blessings is easily amazing. Uh, the Liliana Death's Majesty. Creed, Zomble Token, Mill 2 Cards. Can hit Guys Blessing. Professor Nix Liliana. Pay one life, look at three cards, put one card in hand. Guys Blessing milled. AK, we are literally never running into any any what's it called rogue deck ever because this deck absolutely just spits on rogue decks which is obviously good assassin's trophy kind of a rare card to use but it is good against uh, a lot of planeswalkers and whatnot I, I want something more than just binding of the old gods to deal with planeswalkers five mana to deal with planeswalkers on average i would say that that's not good because most planeswalkers well you know if you rely on two cards to deal with Planeswalkers, which is unreliable in the first place, you might have a problem if someone drops a Planeswalker on curve. 24 lands to be specific, 3.6 average, but that is absolutely fine because, well, the Lilianas are the thing that actually, like, costs here. Everything else is, like, control and whatnot. And... Two Castle Lockwains and two layers of the Hydra. Hydra's layer is a, one, a two mana blocker in the worst case scenario. So I would say it's kind of good. You could replace this for something if you wanted. Uh, but the, I just kind of roll with the Hydra's layer. And with that being said, boys, we got a new Patreon today. Alexander Verborgen. Thank you very much for becoming a Patreon. I greatly appreciate it, as I appreciate every Patreon. If you want to support me directly, Patreon is the best way to do it. Link down in the description. Then there's the join button, which you can press and also support the channel directly. And there's also a Discord. All links in the description box below. Join us. It's, it's, it's degenerate greatness. And... If you want to support the channel, otherwise just subscribe and like the video. Liking and subscribing, well, first of all, you need to like because Mommy Liliana, let's be real here, boys. We, 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 we know what we want and we're not ashamed of what we want. I personally would never allow a woman to, you know, step on me and, or do anything. But when it comes to Mommy Liliana, let's face it, you need to make some... Uh, you, you need to make some sacrifices, you know? You just, you, you kind of, you, 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 you're gonna allow it. That, that's the end of the story. Prove me wrong. Hashtag can't. Anyway, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Of all of the no, not overpowered decks, most likely it is counter spells that are good against us. 
we do have only like a couple of uh, threats and most people are capable of understanding wait a minute he's playing binding of the old gods tramp that's not counterspellable explore that's not counterspellable none of that is is that a rad deck it looks like a rad deck it smells like a rad deck must be a uh, not rad deck most dead touch yeah no what hello uh okay didn't expect that out of 10. i'm gonna go for the liliana i really like using this liliana as a, a, fo a form of pressure appliage you know minus three the one creature that's on board then he needs to deal with that but he's uh, losing cards constantly yep it, it was what we ex it was exactly what we expected not uh yeah we're pretty okay with this there's nothing uh half of his cards are useless against us that's why it's good otherwise pretty bad gonna ditch the second explore but yes we are gonna be pretty good against this ram through is absolutely unusable against us which you know gives us all the everythings it's gonna be a little bit awkward pressing hello there haven't seen you in forever damn but this is where the Lilianage shineage so brightage because look we are in absolute 100 percent full control of the situation we're discarding his cards and we got a bunch of Lilianas. oh oh that is just <laughs> yeah oh oh look at that the, the gem grazer that's disgusting is, is it the thing that Jim... Oh, ki dude, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, sh wait a minute. What do you choose to get rid of Professor Nix or this one? Because, you know... Oh! You do understand I most likely will now just top deck a solution for that. So that was not a 10 out of 10 play. Uh, I'm gonna keep this because it just seems on point, not gonna lie. So, get rid of this, it should be fine, get 2 HP, so, you know, he technically only did 2, uh, two damage there. I want, I want a backup, not because it's needed, but because... Rrr. Ah, yes, the good old reasons. What does man need more than, you know, just stuff like this? Nothing, exactly. Annoying, but dealable with. Annoying, but dealable with. Oh, yes, that's a generalis. So, how do we want to do this, boys? Do we want to just uh, drop the Generalis and call it a day? Yes, we do! Oh, yes, we do! Oh, look at that! You had dreams, wishes, and they're gone. Amazing. I gotta love myself a little bit too much. The instantaneous. Dude, surrender. There's two planeswalkers, and they're both Liliana's. Like, everyone knows you don't have a chance. Admittedly, this is a very peculiar. Oh! First, let's plus one like competitive players. Yeah, Heartless Act seems on point. Then, let's create a Zomble. Well, actually, now he has something to ram through. But honestly, do you think it matters? Yeah, I kind of don't. So, do this. I'm gonna ditch this Lilian. It should be fine. Again, I don't think he's even dealing damage to us, so yeah. There's three Lilianas. One was already erotic enough. Now there's three. I don't honestly know if there's anything more to life than this. Okay, that's pretty good. Because I can just get rid of this. And then we draw a card. We do a little bit of deeps. And it's all to the peeps. Look at this. This is what you call perfection. This is what you call having a game plan. This is what you call having an overwhelming advantage over a German. But it's okay. It's hard-coded in his DNA that he's supposed to lose anyway. Ah, Germany. Never change. Can I get the thing that... Uh, the land that does stuff? I'm gonna go for this. Why not? Reset the deck yet again. Should maybe run two cards, Bastions. Honestly, I'm running only one. But I do feel that that is literally enough. Okay, do the explore. I want, I like how he hasn't surrendered. Because there are a lot of decks that we can run into that are really, really good against us. 
But this is like probably one of the worst decks you can get against us. For very obvious reasons, of course. So yeah, good luck. And he just surrenders. Makes sense, makes sense. Got someone to stomp on. In a good way this time. Well, not really. Crazy eyes. Ah, yes. PTSD. Oh, look at that. The perfect hand. Mulligan. Well, this is a lot better. Wizards, are you feeling okay? Well, admittedly, he goes first. Let's see what he is. Ah, yes. Uh, I'm assuming that's a uh, life gain deck? It started with white, so it's kind of obvious, right? Okay, now I'm confused. How can a life gain deck play nothing on turn two? Are you gonna draw blue now? No, you're still not the- oh. Okay, then. Well, this is not bad. By the way, it automatically selects the target, but, you know, I don't like that, so there you have it. Uh, got the riddle of sut. Dude, the thing I don't like when facing the uh, these types of- How is he not dropping anything? Someone- can someone explain this? Also a poker god, but that that's that's okay. I'm assuming he's also gonna drop a, uh, another Valkyrie. Oh god, he's well. Technically, I'm right. Technically, he did. Land, please land me. Let's see. Ah uh, yes. So, one thing I want to speak about now is I don't know what's the, exactly the deal here. Uh, but it seems like Wizards currently has an extreme hard-on on something like almost a 50% land draw ratio uh, for the first 20 cards or 30 cards. I don't know what's the deal, but yeah, I have played multi multiple games now where it's just constantly 50, almost a 50% land draw ratio. Currently we're also like a little bit above or a little bit below I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in ninety. Am I against? No, it's not Sparky. Huh. Who uses pacifism? Well, I'm not gonna question a free win, seemingly, but who does that? Ah, uh, yes, no one, exactly. And for good reason. I can actually kill the pacifism if, if I want to, but, you know, obviously I'm not gonna do that. Do this. Another Lilian, and Explore seems a little bit on more on point. Okay, this is not bad. Deal some damage, and another Riddle of Sut. Man, currently we're kind of playing to, well, Demolish. Could have attacked with the Lair of Hydra, but I won't. God, the Lair of the Hydra is such good art, by the way. Okay, this must be Sparky in the skies. 100%. There's no other way. Another layer of the Hydra. Remember what I said about liking a layer of the Hydra? Well, I no longer do. It's a little bit too much. Mm, explore. Oh, by the way, I at the start, when I did the intro, I don't think I uh, did it. But this deck does have a one Khan's Bastion, for obvious reasons. So yeah, he's currently not doing any. Dude, what is this deck? I'm sorry, but w w what's happening, my dude? I will damage you and I will do things, but yeah. Also, remember how I dislike lanes that can attack you? Well, with this deck it's even a little bit more than that. Well, it's not really lanes that can attack you, uh, but it's lanes that... Ooh. Dude, do I just double ulti or do I do this and get Khan's Bastion? No. Well. Oof. Okay, do this. Now you can only have one planes out. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit bad for just instantaneously sacking, but how often do you just get a game like this? This is like the definition of the most free win in the existence of free wins. And I don't even understand how this is possible, because look at this. The guy clearly has uh, Valkyries. Angels. It's an angel deck. It's a classic life gain angel deck. And the guy just like, you know... Does nothing? <laughs> oh, he needs to pick between pacifisms? Oh, I compl I did not even think about that one. <clears throat> no, wait, pas it, does he control pacifism even though it's on my side of the field? Dude, I have no idea. So, does this card count under his control or under my control? Interesting. <clears throat> 
But I guess it's fine. Come on, dude, just let me cast the Liliana ulti. Well, another one, technically. Okay, this this game was definitely just a freebie win me. But it's fine, because magic is just made of free wins and free losses anyway, so... You know, it's it's part of the parcel. Dude! Just, just let me Liliana you. God, look at this. Playing Liliana, Tribal has a Liliana, Emote has a Liliana, Avatar. Ugh. You don't know, but currently I'm also Liliana cosplaying. Good times. Ah! And now this. Oh yeah, man, this is the ultimate Liliana destruction. This is what they call when it's done, it's done. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. This was... <laughs> and to answer the question of how good this deck is, well, it's gonna lose against elves and goblins and most likely Ugin decks. But, you know, that's just part of magic. Elves, goblins, and Ugins are completely overpowered, so most things lose against that. Doesn't make it exactly right, but, you know, most things do lose sadly against this. Awkward lands, awkward hand, wide knight, and mulligan. Guys, blessing turn to play. It's fine. Okay, I wonder what he is. Probably an aggro. Okay, you know what that is. Everyone knows what that is. Oh, suddenly it's something else. Well, now we can pretend that we did know what that once was, but now it's something else. Are you gonna counterspell my guy's blessing? So, counterspell decks are also a pretty annoying thing to deal with here. Oh, good, that's actually on point. Counterspell decks are pretty annoying to deal with because the reason is, well, we, we are... M oh! Oh my! Are you cyc- no, cycling decks don't just run with blue that like that. Interesting though, it's rare you see the turtle. Well, not the turtle, whatever it's called. So yeah! But, you know, if you don't have white or... Well, do I want to do it? I think I do. I haven't seen what he does, so he may counterspell this if he has counterspells to begin with. <clears throat> It's really questionable, but I technically have a... If I get the lands, which I honestly technically should because reasons. It could be good, it should be good, right? Dude, stop it! How many of those do you have? You know, there's a point where it becomes illegal. But it should be fine. We have Heartless Act. No question is, what is he actually doing with that? If he casts a third one, I'm gonna question things. <laughs> oh, good times. So I can cast this Liliana, which is better one. This, I don't like the tattoos, even though, you know, well, not in life, but, you know, in hentai, I do prefer my dark-skinned, tattooed elves with piercings and whatnot. Uh, but, n n not in this context. Hmm, well, didn't draw a land, kind of surprised. Okay, at least we're gonna do this. We have that. He definitely went for the counter spell there. So, what can we actually do here? That's a counter spell. 100% all the time, every time. Uh, and that's a third one. By the way, yes, that is a third one. Jesus Christ. I feel that we may have a problem that he counterspells the Heartless Act, but if he counterspells the Heartless Act, what does it matter? There's still an Eldest Reborn. So, yeah, it's like Ubu Awa, definitely. Three casts. On the fourth, he gets an 8-8, uh, eight, eight, if, if someone does not know. Oh, dude! I'm playing against so many Castle Ardenvale creation token decks, it's so stupid. I hate playing against this garbage. Oh! Dude! Okay, so, this guy has not has missed a single land drop. He has a counter spell, he plays that, and yeah, it's really annoying. Okay, so, obvious things are obvious, he's counter spelling whatever we do. Ugh. Well, let's hope for the best, but, you know, that's a side coming. That's always a side coming. Why would you play a side coming in this deck? You have why? Oh, what the hell? That's interesting. I can get your Tafari now. Ah, uh, that's pretty cash money. 
Oh, that's a Behold the Multiverse? Really? You'd think in a historic you would be playing something else but Behold Thine Multiverse, you know? Doesn't seem exactly like the play. Maybe he's gonna play a mega ying daro wandering mo- No one cares. I wonder what's this called actually, Cod. Dude, he has haste! Dude, come on! My HP is lim- Oh, what the hell? Okay, okay. So if he casts this, by the way, the fifth time, what does that even mean? I honestly don't know. Uh, but we have only one choice. It's detention time. A uh, boom. Okay, well, that's one Lilian you have to deal with now. And, well, I'm gonna just... Dude, I should drop this Lilian. I think he's gonna deal... Oh, no, he's not gonna deal with it. Well, technically I create Lilianas that create tokens, so technically it's good, but... I'm sorry, you, you, you what, mate? Did you just seriously bone crusher giant me like it's absolutely no big deal? You absolute goddamn tool. Okay, okay. How many? Oh no, this is actually perfection. Good. I wanted that, kinda. So, do this. It's a little bit of shame that we honestly don't get any value from the minus three here, but it should be fine. What's the chances that he actually has something of value? Okay. So, he's gonna deal with this Lilian. I'm assuming, at least. I wanted, honestly, to cast this, but, eh, seems like meh. Deal with this. Okay, he's... Well, he's doing that. The battles... Uh, the battle phase is over, so... If he has a counter spell, he may choose to counter it now. I'm not sure about it, but there is a chance. Negate... Hmm. I'm okay with taking two damage. We technically healed that. So. What does he do now? He has a full hand of stuff. I'm not a fan of that one. Huh. By the way, now it's seven cards out. Oh god, that's definitely a counter spell if it wasn't previously. Okay, do this. Let's see. Let's see. Another minion never hurts. Okay. Wait, how much? Five, seven, seven. Oh yeah, I can actually do this. Uh how do I wanna do this? He's counterspelling one thing, right? He's definitely counterspelling I, I think he may try to counterspell this if he can. He may do it. Yeah, he's contemplating it. Yup, he definitely is. So, if he casts this again, do I die? <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Abolish. Now, well, that was an easy thing to see, you see coming. Uh, let's see. No, I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna do that. I I need to kind of survive here, so that's, that's, that's the whole plan, boys. God, too bad this Liliana doesn't actually achieve anything but create Zombles. I do love her, though, but, you know. It would be nice uh, that the minus three did something. It returns even to the battlefield, but, you know, it is what it is. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, yeah, he's thinking about going for this. Another bony boy, huh? Okay, dude, play the bony boy. Just, just play it. You know there's no other choice. You know how it is. You know, you, dude, you know. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. J just drop it like it's hot. Okay, do this. Sphere of Annihilation. That was actually a good, uh, good mill. Okay, I need to do this. If he has a counter spell, it's not like I can actually play around it. And, uh, dude, okay, so he has... He has a lot of counter spells. Okay, the good part is now I can start using Castle Lockwain in Unefficientos Monros. Got rid of that. Oh my god. Dude, are you kidding me? Wait. That's stupid. Oh no. Wait, no. Dude, yeah, just, just, just play it. Wow, that's a land. 
Impressively bad. What can I say? Okay, where's my acquired mana? But anyway, that's an ulti. That's an ulti you see extremely rarely, by the way. Okay, so now this card cuts. Dude, why does he... Dude, where, where are all my Lilianas? Where, where's all my Professor Lilianas? Please, game. I have one HP. I'm literally at the bottom of the battle. The bottom of the string. And no one cares the card. Good. Good. Very good. Can you not use that? Hello? By the way, this Liliana kind of counteracts counter spell decks if you actually get it. Oh. Mmm, <clears throat> that one. Oh! Are you kidding me? Exact. No, this is not good game. This is why these lands are overpowered. They're ju they just ruin control decks. That is such cheese. From a 1 to 10, I would rate that matchup as 11 out of 10 horrible. Like, come on, we did not get any Liliana value. Also, again, good, 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 good. <sighs> Wizards, I don't really have, like, you know, I, I do have a couple of Lilianas and whatnot, but not not my whole deck is lands and Lilianas. Oh, look at that, it's again the overpowered land. Dude, I, I hate it so much that they just feel the need to add lands like this. They, they, they're just made to ruin control. And yet again, it's a counterspell deck. And yes, counterspell decks of the not overpowered by definition decks are probably the best... Oh, that, I'm not gonna play Lilian, the Waker of whatever. Oh, that's just... that's two counterspells now. Okay. That's cool. Literally <laughs> not cool. Okay, everyone's just playing stuff. Okay, well... Vogd 4. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me just do this right now. This is actually really good. This is pre-prime time television. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm that good. I'm just that good. I don't know if you can hear that bark... Dog barking constantly, but there is a dog barking constantly. No one has ever said, can you hear or can you not hear those sounds? This is an arguably good hand, so what gives? Oh god. That is a life gain deck. Riddle of Sut, Binding of the Old Gods. Yeah, this is not just good, this is supreme. Oof. I like it. I like it. Well, here's your mandatory 50% land draw ratio. No, but seriously, it's so stupid that they have stuff like this. Why would you... Is that dog getting closer, or that's just me? It sounds like it's in my yard. <laughs> also, sad amounts of lands, boys. Uh, but yes. So, there's gonna be implications to the game if Wizards actually keep, keeps this up. And I assume they obviously will keep it up. Oh god, that is... Well, I'm gonna draw... Oh, look at that. Wait, I can... First, I can do this. Oh, a riddle of sut. Do I riddle? Ah, yeah, why not? It's 2 for one It's good. It's all good in the hood. Okay, so currently we have a lot of lands. He does not have a lot of lands. I can't tell if he's the loser in this situation or the winner because of that. Uh, do I want to... Dude, I really, really, really want to... Oh. Okay, let's do it like this. He has no haste effects. He has nothing. This is fine. Sometimes using Lilians like this feels a little bit awkward, but, you know, it is pretty okay. It is, it is okay for absolutely the majority of times. Completely ethically valid. But you know what's even more ethically valid? Pressing a bunch of plus ones, accumulating overwhelming advantage that absolutely makes no sense, and, you know, just ch ch just being awesome in general. And now the Assassin's Trophy can get rid of almost anything. I like it. Oh, look at that! Remember when I said blah 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 something something stuff? Well, look at this. Something something stuff. Dealt a little bit of damage, dealt a little bit of this. He's gonna create a 2-2 uh, cat token, which is annoying, but, you know, it is dealable with. 
Like, honestly, look at this. It's a 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, sure, that's a little bit meh. Dude, I'm not even gonna block, by the way. Actually, you know what? I will block. That draws me cuts. Why not? And he has seen what my deck consists of. He he should be... Dude, he should be honestly surrendering any moment now. Press plus one. See what happens. Guys, blessing Eldest Reborn. Why not? Why not at this point, right? Uh, let's see. Do I want to cast... Uh, yeah, let's just cast it. Who cares? I don't believe there's anything he can do. Ah, uh, for decks like this, by the way, getting a 50% dead dog, you definitely can hear it. I would be astonished if you legitimately could not hear it. Also, that Johnny's Welcome is getting a little bit annoying, so I will just binding it. It's not the best use of a binding, but at this moment, uh, boys, you, you know what's up. You, you, you knew what's up. You, you knew it from the start that that's gonna 100% happen. Uh, oh, look at that, more Lilianas. It's like this deck was supposed to play Lilianas and a, a glo a bask in its glory. <laughs> ah, I love myself. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty good as you can see. I hope you like the Liliana tribal deck, it's pretty good. It won't get you, you know, to rank one mythic, but it will get you two mythic, implying you don't play against 100% Rigadiru matchups. But you know, it's it, it's all part of the uh, part of the deal of playing Magic the Goodring Arena. Again, one card in Sebastian. You know, you can easily remove it, but you know, I kind of roll with it sometimes. So anyway, without any fur further ado. This is where we say goodbye. So this was Quizzer710. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.